There's a side of China's history the Communist Party doesn't want you to know about. In China, they want to inform you to become a new socialist person. This is the purpose of the labor camps. Underneath the facade of kitsch propaganda lies a system of forced penal labor in prison farms known as Ligawai. By 1956, Mao's communist revolution was complete. To ensure total censorship of counter-revolutionaries, Soviet state experts were invited in to develop a gulag-style prison network numbering over a thousand. The major job in the, in the prison camp, to survive, to find the food, that's it. At age 23, Harry Wu was sent to the prisons from 1960 to 1979 because his father was a banker and therefore linked to the capitalist class. Wu now lives in America and directs the Lugawa Research Foundation and the Lugawa Museum. In 19 years, I never read, never write, never do anything. I just like an animal. When Mao died in 1979, political prisoners from the Lugawa were released, including Wu. In 2013, the Chinese government officially abolished re-education through labor camps, but rights group Amnesty International warned that the move would be an empty gesture if they simply abolish one system of arbitrary detention only to expand the use of others. Wu returned to China in 1991 with 60 Minutes to document the former Ligawai prisoners. They went with me and they went into the labor camps. They met the prisoners and they make a fume. Since then, I always try to tell the people that how many camps, where's the location, and how many people. I asked to me probably 1,000 labor camps and probably more than 40 million people was in the prison camp. Aside from forced labor, penitentiary officials run an underground organ market off dead prisoners, a subject Wu still has difficulty recollecting. To the, to, to the commit, uh, I went to China too. 94. I went to the hospital. Do the doctor said, hey, what do you want? You want organ? Not you? I said, my uncle. He said, okay, no problem, 30,000. And I talked to the doctor, who's the donor? He said, we don't talk about it. We guarantee fresh, good quality. That you want, right? Doesn't matter who's the donor. And then they say, this is death row prisoners. In 2008, Wu opened the Lagawai Museum located in Washington, D.C. to preserve the memory of victims and to raise awareness of the human rights abuse by the Communist Party of China. But I want to very clearly tell you that this museum is not really for America. It's particularly for China. I wish one day we can remove it back to China. One thing is very, very simple. Today in China, almost no one believes that communism is their future. So that's why in the recently two years, I tell the people, China has come to the final stage. How long and how to change, we do not know.